I just got into the game one day during the summer. My father was taking up the game, and I was down here with some of my friends, and we got out and had a look at him playing. We decided to go out and play, and we just got the bug for it. And once you start playing it, you, you'll, you'll get the bug for it. You won't want to stop. It's a very, very competitive game. It incorporates everybody, no matter what age you are, how big or how small, weight. Nothing like that comes into it. It's just down to hand and eye coordination, you know, and generally feel for the game. And the higher up you play, you'll find that. It's a very tactical game. The rules themselves are the same for the different types of game you play, whether it's singles, doubles, triples, or rinks is our favourite game. You must uh, have the mat, it must be two metres from the end of the ditch, and it must travel 23 metres before you can play. The basic idea is to get as many of your balls around the jack as possible. Richard started playing balls at an early age and very quickly caught the eye of the international selectors. In 1999, aged just 16 years, he was selected to play on the under-25 international team and was selected every year thereafter until he was no longer eligible. Then he was immediately selected to play on the senior international team. Over the last four or five years, I've probably won about six or seven Irish titles, which gives you a chance to win the British Isles then. And myself and my father and another person from the club now, at the end of June, will be going over to England to play in the British Isles. Especially if you're playing a competition, it is very competitive. Even if you're playing somebody that's 70, they're as competitive as you are. And it's such a great leveler for anybody because Somebody of 70 can beat someone of 20, and someone of 20 can beat someone of 70. Certainly the first stage for any promising young builder is to get picked for their inter-association under 25 team. And from that, if they continue to show their abilities, uh, they will get selected for the under 25 international team. That really is a big step in stone for players of that age group. It gets them recognised by the International Selection Committee. And from that, they can then progress on to the senior team. So it is a continuous process. It's a big goal in any young bowler's career to get playing for the under-25 international team. The more successful you get at it, the more time is kind of spent towards playing bowls. But I, I find that I've successfully done both with the family and the bowls. As I said, it's a very enjoyable game and a lot more people should play it. I've had a brilliant time. A really, a time that I wouldn't have had in another sport. I would never have been able to have a family and teach and, and also get to the, the high level of, of the sport that I got to in any other sport. Although I did commit a fair bit of time to bowling, it paid me back in spades. I had some great trips, highly competitive games, and I've got to say I enjoyed every single minute of it. <laughs>